Hello and welcome to the UCSF Chimera menus tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn about two specific menus of the software, Select and Actions. In the Select menu, you will learn to select residues, chains, atoms, regions, etc. Using the Actions menu, you will learn to display the molecules or residues using various different representations. You will also learn to color and label the molecules. The example file used in this tutorial is a hemoglobin structure from the protein data bank with the PDB identifier 2HHB. Notice in the default view, the polymer chains are shown in a ribbon representation, while the heme groups and other ligands and ions are shown in the stick representation. Residues around the heme group are also shown in the stick representation, highlighting the interactions between the residues and the heme groups. To focus on specific residues or regions of this protein structure, use the Select menu options. You can select by the polymer chain identifiers. You can select by specific chemistries, residue names, and other structural features. For example, let's say we decide to select chain A. Notice that this particular chain now has a green halo about it, indicating that this chain A is now ready to receive action commands such as ribbon hide or ribbon show. Similarly, we can show the atoms and bonds, show the surface, and even the atoms and bonds can, can be presented in slightly different ways. For example, it can be represented as a ball and stick. Notice that the presentation here changed. It could also be represented as spheres. One can clear selections using the select menu option or select chain A and play some little tricks such as you can invert the selection so everything other than chain A is selected and inverted back. Normally the selection is carried out in the replace mode which means that if I select chain B, chain A is dropped and chain B is now the highlighted chain. But I could change the selection mode to append and now if I select chain A, the chain B and chain A are highlighted. Let's say that you want to select the heme group associated with chain B. If we select by the residue name heme, notice all four heme groups are selected. So if we now intersect this selection with chain B, only the heme group associated with the chain B is highlighted. Remember to reset the selection mode back to replace and clear selections before proceeding further. In the next part, we will color the chain A in red. For that, we select chain A, go to the Actions menu and pull up all the options for color. Notice that the coloring applies to has various options. You can either selectively color the ribbons, surfaces, atom, surface, atom labels, bond labels, uh, or apply a color to all of the above. So with the current selection, if we click on the red color, everything related to chain A is colored red. You can selectively change the color of the ribbon to yellow and focus on that particular chain. To label a residue that you have selected, click on the action label residue name option and see the residue label show up. You can change the color of this label using the color menu and 
specifically changing the residue label color. For additional help and instructions, review the UCSF Chimera documentation and tutorials.